Hey guys, Jim Hoffman here from EMSSEO.com and I want to just talk about one question I see all the time that people message me or email me all the time and that is what's on the NREMT exam? You know, what's the, what are the exact things you need to know to pass? Well, there are a certain amount of subject areas that you need to know. And the reality is, you really should know everything. There's no secret that can replace your test prep. And you should keep in mind that the exam is based heavily on the basics of what you should know. So you need to know your CPR and shock and the segmented categories that I've listed here, right? Airway, ventilation, oxygenation, trauma, cardiology, medical operations, OBGYN, right? The major components of these, especially major components of the airways and all about normal respiration ranges for adults and pediatrics. So what does that mean? Well, it means you need to know what? The entire textbook. So I hate it when people ask this question and then I see replies that say, this is what you have to know. Oh, okay. I got it. The whole thing. In addition to that, nowadays, you also have to sort of focus a little bit more on EMS operations, you know, because of all of the mass uh, shootings and September 11 and stuff like that, they've been incorporating more things like ICS and NIMS as it relates to EMS into the exam. So understanding these systems, ICS and NIMS, is going to help you a little bit when you're taking the, the test and it'll put you a little bit ahead. Now, keep in mind, guys, that the NREMT gets a lot of their information from other textbooks and the questions on the exams are written to match the uh, DOT EMT curriculum. So the EMT books, the textbooks, they provide an interpretation of those standards. Now, what is it that you should do to remember all of this stuff. Well, I always say to get a calendar out and start making a, a, a study plan. Basically, that study plan, you can use practice tests as well. You can use flashcards, things like that. But one thing I would suggest too is to go a little bit beyond the textbook if you can, if you have that time. All right, the reason why is it's so important to know as much about EMS as you can, it's going to make your test shorter, more likely. So suppose you're answering questions that are above the competency line of an EMT or paramedic or whatever you're testing for. In that case, more than likely the test is going to end closer to that minimum number of questions rather than the maximum, right? Closer to 70 than 120. And like I said, take advantage of those practice tests, take advantage of flashcards, review guides, things like that. Also listen to uh, educational podcasts. That's another way to immerse yourself more in EMS and understand more as well. Try to take each of those subject areas if you can, because like I said, you need to have that plan, right? You want to use the, the many resources as you can. So what you should try to do, your goal should be to spend maybe a week per topic on airway, cardiology, medical, ops, operations, and trauma. This is going to help you figure out where you're weak, see where you're strong, and allow you to focus on what you need to build your knowledge to the level you need to have it in order to pass the exam. And then as you go through this, you want to rinse and repeat, right? Go through it again, see see where you're improving and go and where you're still weak 
and go ahead and keep focusing on those weak areas to get you to where you need to be. Remember, this whole thing shouldn't be a race. Try to plan this at the beginning of your EMT school so that you can have it planned out that a month or so before the actual test, you've got that week or so per topic to really go ahead and focus on what you need to do to pass, all right, to really review and get that in there. So if you haven't started it yet, then start doing it now. Now, if for some reason you're running short on time, in my course, my EMS success course, I have a 10 day sort of, uh, you know, speed up study plan. But if you're running short on time, I would say to focus on these areas here as much as possible and review the other areas like I mentioned, but focus a little bit more on these, right? CPR guidelines, respiratory distress versus respiratory failure, uh, oxygenation of patients, your OBGYN and neonatal resuscitation, and your rule of nines as well. Now, use the resources you have at your fingertips. You don't have to go running around trying to get the best app, the best website, the best membership site, the best uh, book, or you know, uh, exam book, all that stuff. Use the resources that you have already. Your textbook, handouts from class. Some classes give you the online access to study and review resources as well. Use these resources first. If they're not helping you or you need more, get a practice exam app to help you. Create better flashcards to help you. And now if you really need help, of course, I have my EMS success formula. It's emsformula.com. You can get the help you need to succeed on the NRNT and beyond that, actually, in you know, other exams and even building your knowledge. And in that system, in this formula, I give you simple steps to understand the content, to figure out where you're weak, and to help you build confidence. So if you need help, if your resources that you have already are not helping you, or you feel you need a little bit of extra, a little bit of a boost, and you can't get it through YouTube, you can't get it other places, go check out emsformula.com and see what that's all about. I think that could help you a little further and really push you over the line to get you to pass the NREMT. All right, guys, I'm gonna end it there. I hope this video helped you a little bit and brought some things into focus for you when you're preparing for the National Registry. Good luck on the test. Whether you use my emsformula.com resources or you just use your own resources, I'd love to hear from you. Let me know how you did on your exam. All right, that's it for me. As always, Jim Hoffman, stay safe.